Hello and welcome to septictank.co.uk My name is Jason and thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today. In this video I'm going to show you what a septic tank and soak away are. I'm going to show you how a septic tank and soak away works. I'm going to show you why the soak away becomes blocked. And I'm going to show you a fantastic solution to unblock your soak away and keep it unblocked without having to spend hundreds on keep getting it emptied or pay thousands on getting it repaired or replaced. So, here's the first video. It's called, What is a Septic Tank and Soak Away? So, what is a septic tank and soak away? Well, primarily a septic tank is used in instances where the property is unable to connect to the main drainage or main sewage system for whatever reason. Septic tanks come in a variety of shapes and sizes. They go underground and they're generally made from plastic or fiberglass. Now, every septic tank needs a soak away. Now, soakaways can be created in many different shapes and designs. In this instance, we've chosen the herringbone or fishbone design, which is very popular today because of the way that it allows the water to permeate naturally uh, into the soil over a wide area. There's a variety of materials that people use for soakaways. And again, in this video, we've used the perforated pipe design simply because it's very popular and works very well when underground. Okay, so we've seen what a septic tank and soakaway are. Now we're going to see how a septic tank and soakaway work. All the liquid and solid waste that a house produces, which comes from the washing machine, the dishwasher, the bath, the sink, the shower, leaves the property goes down the pipe and makes its way into the septic tank. All the waste that enters the tank then fills the tank up. Once the liquid reaches to a certain level, it then makes its way up through the outlet pipe, along the pipe towards the soak away. From there, the sewage effluent then makes its way along the entire length of the soakaway and makes its way down the various branches and arteries. Most modern soakaways which use perforated land drainage um, also use a shingle bed and a shingle covering and a membrane. This allows the sewage effluent to naturally drain from the pipe into the shingle and then into the soil. Okay, so we've seen how a septic tank and soak away work. Now we're gonna look at the sticky problem of why a soak away becomes blocked. All the heavy particles such as the fat and the solids all drop to the bottom of the tank. Over time, the more fat and the more grease and the more solids that fall to the bottom of the tank cause a build-up. This is why every year people get their septic tanks emptied or desludged. Unfortunately, most people allow this sludge in the bottom of their septic tank to build up to such a height that it reaches the outlet pipe that leads towards the soak away. And from there, the sludge makes its way up the outlet pipe and then along the pipe from the septic tank to the soak away, completely clogging and blocking up the pipes as it goes. Once the silt and the sludge start making their way into the soak away, it starts blocking all the pores up and it starts blocking all the arteries and all the veins of the soak away up as well, making it very, very hard, if not impossible, to clear or unblock the soak away. Okay, so we've seen why um, a soak away get, becomes blocked and at this juncture, you've normally got two options. First option, you can keep on getting the septic tank emptied, but 
for me that's not a viable option. Why? Because it's not going to unblock the soak away. And number two, it's expensive to keep getting the septic tank emptied. You can try rodding the soak away, but rodding the soak away or jetting the soak away doesn't help. Why? Because if you keep jetting the soak away, it just compounds the issue. If you rod your soak away, the rods just poke through the grease and the grime. They don't actually unblock it. The second option you've got, which again isn't a favourite of mine, even though I've been installing and repairing systems for about 14 years now, um, you can get your system repaired or replaced. But again, this costs thousands of pounds and um, the reason I've done this video is to show you a better way. Okay, so what's this amazing product then that's not only going to fix your septic tank and soak away problems, it's going to unblock your soak away, it's going to keep it unblocked and reduce your septic tank emptying costs. Well, they're called soak away worms and these soak away worms are having an amazing effect on the customers that use them in their septic tanks and their soakaways. So I've created a short video which shows you how to get these septic tank worms into your septic tank and how they work. Okay, so once your soakaway worms have turned up via special delivery, simply get the bucket of soakaway worms, take the lid off, then take the worms to your septic tank, take the lid off the septic tank and just pour the bucket of worms into the septic tank. Once in the tank the soak away worms will then fall to the bottom of your septic tank and there they'll land on the sludge and very quickly they'll start to eat, they'll start to breed and they'll start to multiply and as they do so they start burrowing and churning and working their way through all the solid and the sludge. Now this process generally takes about two to three weeks, during which time the soakaway worms will make their way from the bottom of the septic tank up through the outlet pipe and then again the process continues. They'll continue to eat, they'll continue to breed and they'll continue to multiply, over which time making their way through from the septic tank towards your soakaway. And when those soak away worms start making their way deep into the arteries of your soak away, it isn't long before they convert and transform that sludge and grease back into a natural, safe, organic, clean liquid again. They do this very quickly. Not only will these worms start working and unblocking the pores and the perforated holes that once clogged your soak away up, they'll start working on the pipes that lead back to and from the septic tank, clearing and removing that sludge completely that has been blocking your septic tank up and um, the pipes leading to the soak away for so long now. Once they start doing this, the liquid is able to freely move once again from the house into the tank, into the soak away, and then to naturally be able to drain away again into the soil. Now this is where the soak away worms really kick in and get clever. Remember at the outset we spoke about um, that people have to get their septic tanks emptied once, twice a year. Well, because the soak away worms live in the bottom of the septic tank, they eat all the sludge. So instead of having to get it emptied once a year, they reduce your septic tank emptying times to once every 10, 15 years. So not only do they unblock your soak away and keep it unblocked, they also keep your septic tank free from sludge, free from blockages, which means no more bills, no more repairs, and no more septic tank emptying.